So your snowblower isn't throwing quite as far as it had before. Or maybe you're hitting that heavy wet snow at the end of your driveway and it's just falling out of the chute. We can change all of that with one simple step. Stick around. Hey guys and gals, welcome to Garage Gear, I'm JB. Giving you the best tips and tricks to survive life in and out of the garage. And before we get rolling, if you're feeling the vibe and you wanna be part of the tribe, subscribe. In this video, we're going to adjust the auger belt tensioner on a snowblower. The following instructions are intended for most two-stage snowblowers. And be sure to consult your owner's manual for directions specific to your model. And don't forget, it's a good idea to check your belts at least once a season. Let's go ahead and begin by unplugging the startup key or the spark plug to prevent any unwanted startups. Next, we're going to remove our belt cover and we have a 3 8 bolt on this side and a 3 8 bolt on the other side. There we go. So looking inside here, here are our two auger belts and most models will have just one, but this model for Aaron's has two, which is a nice feature in case you're outside in the middle of a heavy snowstorm and one of your belts breaks, you got another one to back you up. Over here is our drive belt. We're not concerned about that right now, but what we are concerned about is this tensioner pulley right here for the augers. And if we push in on this, this creates tension here on these belts and allows you to throw your snow. These belts do appear to be in good shape and are ready for another season. Now, as we look closer here, these belts have quite a bit of slack and play in them, I can really push down with ease on these belts. No bueno. So here's how we tighten it up. If we come around to this side, we can see that there is a slot in the back. This tensioner right here can adjust back and forth on that slot. And in some cases on certain snowblowers, you may have two or three holes instead of a slot to slide the bolt in. Really cheaply made snowblowers may not even have anything there. We are going to use a 9 closed end wrench on an angle. And what we're gonna do is attack this bolt and press down. Just like that. Give it a few turns. You don't need to take it out all the way because all we need to do is slide it on that track. Yep, and as predicted, this tensioner was set all the way back, so it was really applying barely any tension. What I'm gonna do here is push it forward about a quarter of an inch on that track, and then simply tighten it down. All set now with a bit more tension. Now if we come around here to the back side again, you can see that I've moved this bolt forward about a quarter of an inch on its slot. There's still about two thirds of the way left on that slot, so I can definitely add more to this down the road if need be. By pushing that tensioner forward, we're gonna apply more pressure to those belts. I usually recommend adding a little bit of tension at a time. Next time you go out to apply your driveway, if it hasn't thrown a little bit further for you, add a little bit more tension. You definitely do not wanna risk pushing that tensioner all the way forward and putting way too much pressure on those belts, you will rip them. Not much slack going on there. If you wanna know how to replace the belts on your snowblower, I did a video on that a while back and I'll have that video linked down below in the description. Now, before we pop this cover back on, make sure that you put it on correctly. The last person that did maintenance on this snowblower did not and this pulley right here was rubbing up against this cover and it wore it down, no bueno. So we are gonna make sure that this goes on right. There we go, and it's not rubbing. That's where it needs to be. We're gonna tighten her down. One last thing I wanted to show you is right here. If we follow this cable down from the control lever to this bolt and spring, you'll see that it's fully adjustable. What you could also do is loosen this bolt, push this down, and then retighten it, and that'll create more tension on the tensioner itself. This is just another step you could take, but the main culprit is going to be that tensioner underneath the cover. And don't forget to reinstall your key or your spark plug. This snowblower will now throw much farther and clear heavy, wet snow better. These procedures will make your snowblower more efficient and help you spend less time out in the cold. If you really want to kick up your snowblower's efficiency, have it throw twice as far and never clog, then you definitely need to check out my videos on installing an impeller kit. This is one simple procedure that will blow you away. I'll have those videos linked down below for you. If you like this video, give me one of these. And for more cool garage gear content, check out my links right here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the garage.